good word to tie as far as you see my hair and my face and everything I can tell you that I actually woke up but do not mind me we're false thank you all <laughs> no care I'm never gonna lie like in the morning it's just uh for me but anyway y'all this is not the real reason why I came out here to joke around I literally had a dream earlier like minutes ago and i don't know if it was a sign from god at all where i tell you that i think that my dreams be coming true some of them i don't want to say that it's instantly come true until i keep my mouth closed about it but this is something that i think god wanted me to tell everybody so, right, um, let me start it off. I'm trying to remember. Like, I'm having a whole huge brain fart, so work with me. The world, long story short, I'm going to make it short, but long. Sorry, y'all. I keep procrastinating. So, it was like a war going on between humankind and military kind. Like, people that's in the military. I was back at my hometown by myself. I didn't see my kids. I didn't see anybody with me. And I see my grandparents. My grandparents were still on this earth and knowing how old they are right now. My grandma and grandpa. I was at their house and they kept telling me like every time you turn on the television, you see the news like that ASAP. Hearing bullets fly from left to right from your home. You got to keep getting down on the floor. That's how bad it was. People were dying left and right. For my hometown right now, that's all you know for right now. But it's not bad as my dream was. So it was like we was getting low on food, me and my grandparents. And they told me not to go out there. And I was like, I'm going to go out there because... I really want to survive and actually be able to um, get food. I didn't listen to him. Basically went outside and I really just tried to look for food. But other things got my interest. How people are doing in this world. Like literally people are shooting people in front of you. Dead bodies are laying everywhere. Like... To the point, every time you turn a corner, you see a dead body. People were smoking, drinking their life away. Like, it was no party tomorrow. So fast forward, I got caught in the crowd. And I wasn't smoking, I wasn't drinking, I wasn't doing none of that. But I was literally just looking around like, what has this world came to? To the point, I want to cry. So... I got followed from men. These are men that actually would shoot you with no heart and no soul in their heart. They wouldn't even care if you like their daughter or their son. They want you up under their roof. So they followed me all the way back to my grandparents' house. Broke my doorbell like they were crazy. And I knew instantly that somebody was following me home. So. I hardly and quickly went home and begged God, like, God, please, no, not me, not me. And I could kind of tell I had tears in my eyes. I kept just crying and worshiping around the house. And I was telling him, I said, I, I told God, I was like, I don't know how this world just became like this. But I do remember when they ring that doorbell, my grandpa answered. You know, I tried to not make him answer, but that was like, open up, you know, or wise. So from there on, they opened up and it was like, we need to kill. I ain't meant to say my government name. Sorry, y'all, that's my government name. But oh, well. Yeah, so they needed me. And I went to the door and they basically were telling me like, hey, you're next. And I was like, God, no, no, no. Like, I kept just crying at the door with tears down my eyes. And I kind of see my grandma. Like, inside the house, it was like the bodies was being burnt inside of the house. 
there's no way, like, you know what I'm saying, like, as far as bodies being burnt inside the house, like, they was actually deceased. And then their clothes were looking like we was going to evacuate, but it was there on the bed. My grandparents are old right now. They have lived their lifespan, so that's what made me more confused when I got up. But the thing about it is, I was still young. So I'm going to continue with the story. So when I went outside and I kept asking, like, God, please give me a sign like you're here. Like, I don't understand. Like, at this point, you would have came back. But no, it gets way worse than that. To the point, like, yeah, this is torture. Seeing the ones you love die from left to right. So turn around, I'm crying to God, just just reaching out my hands, just looking up at the sky and say, God, please help me, help me, help me. And I see shooting stars. Like there was a bunch, of, like the sky never looked at like this. If anybody like looks at the sky at night, it was not no ordinary stars. It was more bright. Some of them was bright, some of them was little, and it was like a whole bunch of them at one time when I kept crying out and I kept looking up, sh- fall down like shooting stars. And when they fell down like shooting stars, it was like a sign from God telling me, it's about time. Now, I wouldn't sit here and say, God is going to give me a sign only. But I think I heard from other folks, and correct me if I'm wrong, that God will start showing signs in the stars at the end of the days. And I guess that was the sign to tell me, like, hey, I'm here. You, you know, you sacrifice yourself for me. I'm still going to be here for you. And I guess that's what I was worried for in my dream. Like, it felt so real to the point like I really thought that it was happening. And this is not no storytelling type of dream, y'all. I'm telling y'all the truth because when I come on TikTok, I try to tell the truth of the word of God and I try to tell the truth of of my dreams. I, I used to have drafts of my dreams, but and I had another one of the end of the world way back I say in twenty twenty two. But this one is very recent, which was today. So, y'all, I think by me saying this, y'all, I don't think we have enough time because, honestly, I was still young. I was probably in my mid-20s like I am right now through 30s. If I were more older, I wouldn't be able to barely move like I used to unless I was very that healthy. (laughs) But I think I just want to tell y'all, for the ones that haven't got their life together with Christ, I advise you to go ahead and do it. That dream really scared me to the point. I'm just sitting here being quiet. I told my grandparents about it. I was told people around me about it already. I told y'all. So I don't know if you're going to run with it and... You know, I'm not saying you have to be perfect for Christ, but get to know Christ soon. And I think that's mainly what he's trying to tell me to tell y'all. Y'all have a lovely Father's Day. Don't mind me by my hair, y'all. I literally just got up. Y'all seen the crust. Y'all seen the slob. (laughs) Just don't mind me. But happy Father's Day, y'all, to the fathers that are a father including y'all get right with christ we don't know when the time of day is he didn't tell me the time of day so i don't want nobody putting words in my mouth but i felt like it was a sign to tell everybody